Good morning, Racket. Good morning, sir. I, I don't really know if this works. Oh, great. Uh, okay. I don't like you starting no. like that. Anyway, we'll just let it go for now. No, on the odd occasion, I'm allowed to do sort of weird stuff. You do weird stuff on the every occasion. Yeah, but it's funny weird stuff. So, and I don't really know if this is funny or if this works. But on paper, it looked very, very funny. You know, sometimes okay. you can write a joke and it sounds it's like, whoa, this is gold. And then you actually do it and it sucks. Yeah. Okay, well, I, I, Joffers if, does that every day. Yeah. Maybe I should be asking his advice on this. <laughs> so I, I don't know. And I would li- honestly like a rating out of 10 from each member of the team once this is done. Okay. Okay. Basically, this dude's got a very unfortunate surname. It's called Dumb Fart. No, you're kidding me. That's his surname. No, no, you are making no, it up. No, I'm not making it up. It is for real. Dumb, Dumb fart. fart. Dumb Fart, yes. He works in a travel agency. No. Yeah. Um, okay. Dumb Fart. That's his surname. Shame, that's Dumb really Fart. Yeah. And I thought it would be funny if I try to book a holiday. Yeah. But I used as many, I think the expression is idioms. You know, like when you, uh, like for instance, it, it were a common expression for a fart is you dropped one. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I tried to use as many different ones like that in the conversation. With Mr. Dumbfart. With Mr. Dumbfart, because clearly I'm just taking the mickey out of the guy. But was see, he dumb or did he get it? Well, we're going to see. And I just wanted to see how far I could go with him before he picked it up and he got irritated with me. How far did you go? Well, let's take a listen and okay. see. Okay. Get ready to rate this one. Yes. Hello, Paul speaking. What's your surname? It's Dumfart. Dumfart? Yes. I'm uh, keen on booking a holiday. Okay. Do you do any like sort of packages to the Kruger Park? Yes, we can do that, yeah. Because I was in uh, the Kruger Park uh, a little while ago and they were all like these, these hot winds. Okay. And uh, my mom had like the window open mm. and she couldn't help but blink her brown eye. And then suddenly it was quite a hectic story because we heard this roar from the rear. Yeah. And it sounded like dropping bombs in Iraq. Okay. I don't know if you remember that report from that American dude, uh, General Colin Bell, saying how bad it was in Iraq. Uh, no, don't remember that. But anyways, um, we, we got the car. The, the car then started to backfire. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it's it's quite dangerous, as you probably know, yeah. to to get out in in the Kruger Park because there's yeah, wouldn't recommend that, eh? Yeah, because there's a lot of barking spiders and low flying ducks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah once once I caught two, but mm. then but then I let one go. <laughs> so so anyway, so then we we carried on, yeah, and and we ran out of gas. You ran out of gas. Yeah, and then this this other car very kindly passed gas. Yeah, and then we got going again. And then we had a rear end blowout. Uh, okay. It sounds we, like you didn't have uh, the yeah. best time in your life there, eh? Yeah, because we had such bad luck. You should have seen the skid marks, man. <laughs> and, and, and luckily we took our maid along because her name was Eulens. And my dad said, uh, fix the tire because it's flat, Eulens. <laughs> and then she fixed it. Yeah. And then we carried on. So you uh, made her get out the car and fix the tire in the middle of the Kruger. Yeah, yeah, and, and and then, you know, we're driving and we didn't see anything for like an hour. So, so my dad telling us the story about when he was playing in this dart contest and he dropped a dart. As like, you would do. Yeah, and wow, it was like so boring. <laughs> and, and But because, you know, my dad, he's, he's actually a surgeon. Okay. And, and I prefer like his story about him operating on this guy and he dropped his guts. Okay. Yeah, but then I got bored and, and I put... Yeah, I can imagine that, yeah. Yeah, I put on a DVD in my portable player and I... And I couldn't decide on, on backdraft or crack a ripper. And then my mom got, my mom, you know, she's quite fat. She got hungry. So she opened her lunchbox and, and she cut the cheese. Yeah. And whoa, in the car, you can imagine. But no, sir. Yeah, I mean, it, and the smell was overpowering her perfume, which was Chanel number no. two. Did you know what the weather's like in Australia? Is, is there thunder down under at the moment? No. <laughs> okay, I think you got it. J- judging by your reaction, there was not even a giggle at one time. I think it was one of those that was 
funnier on paper than it was in reality. Now, yeah. that's what I thought. Having yeah. said that, I think it was very clever. Yes. And I think that's where you, you fell down. Is and it? the reason for that is because most of the stuff you do isn't very clever. It, 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 it appeals me? to the lowest common denominator, <laughs> yeah. which is why we all find it hilarious. Yeah. Because that, look at who you work with, okay? Okay, I think what I you think need to do is... I think if this had been is... on like a, 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 a very sort of cerebral, intellectual channel... Yeah. People would have been actually slapping their knees. What you need to do is concentrate on the lowest common denominator. <laughs> Just think, what would make Jeremy laugh? No, I, oh, know what, I know what makes all you guys, and I know what makes our audience laugh, but like I said, I try just go down a different road every now and then. So just out of 10, please, Jim. Um, are we allowed to go into the minuses? <laughs> I, I, would, I, would give you, I would give you a 9 for, 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 for effort. For effort. Yeah. Okay, I'm not worried about effort. I'm and, talking about... And a four for execution. Okay, Paulie? I'll give you an 8 out of 10 for that. That was clever. Puns, I knew you would yeah, like that. I particularly like the clever. flat Mensa That yeah. was good. The flat yeah. That gag you should do at Mensa. Yeah. You see, that Paul, works... Paul, could you take that to your next Mensa meeting and <laughs> get a gauge with it? That, that works on Paul. Um, me, I'd give you a 2 for that one. Bongs? You see, as a comedian, oh, I'd give you a 0, dude. And Bongs <laughs> is your mate. Because nobody will be laughing. You'd yeah. run out of business. Okay, so clearly that one sucked. Yeah, it did. Sorry, boy. I, I take it on the chin, like I said. So look, I it's was not, and it's not because you didn't try hard. Mm. You, you know, know how if, long if, it if took we're me. writing your school report today, we go. Darren Simpson makes every effort to concentrate <laughs> yeah. in class, but he must concentrate on what the class is actually studying. It's just yes, yeah. it, he makes every effort to concentrate <laughs> in class. Unfortunately, the class is maths, and he's doing biology. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, team. <laughs> <laughs>